You can see what I've done here, I've masked off what looks like a window and we're going to paint a window on here and then take the masking tape off. I paint it all around with the dark first so when I take the masking tape off there'll be dark lines where the window should be. So I'll put the colours up now and let's get into it and paint a window scene. Very simple, anybody can do this. You don't have to make a beautiful scene, just take a little bit of time marking out your window. I'll be using just a few colours as cobalt blue, crimson, raw sienna and white. And I've got some more white down here make it easier for myself. So I'll colour in the middle with white to start with, right across the masking tape, right across everything. Just the middle. And I, I do like a flash coming in from somewhere so we'll bring the light in from there. Uh, down to there and the, the paint's very strong you see it covers over that dark paint with no problem one coat and I'll add a little bit of gold in the middle unload my brush there and a little bit of blue in the middle we'll get a bit of a glow happening there now you can paint whatever you wish on here you can paint uh, I think I'll paint a street scene there like that I'm just laying out the colours where I want them. Um, I think the glow is okay there. Yes, that's the main glow. 
in the painting. So you want to look out the window and see something nice and bright. I'll colour it up there a little bit too. Now to get us what might be the sky or a mist or something, I'll paint this area in with a soft blue to start with. Plenty of paint. I need a lot more white there. I'll add a lot more white up here. I might get a bigger brush. That's better. I didn't want to go out there. I shouldn't have gone out there. I'll colour that in later. You'll see what it's all about soon. And we do need the three colours in most landscapes, so we'll put a bit of crimson in there just to add a bit of colour in that area. Well, that's okay, that's okay. Now, whatever you paint here, let it come right across. Don't paint squares. Don't stop things on the window frame. A little bit of blue up there. Um, I think I'll paint a rather uh, mystic sort of scene. Not, not very deliberate. Just say so you just glance out the window and you see something. There, we come down to here. Now, we need some buildings, I'd say. Now, I need a little bit more white in the middle area, and it must go into both squares. Oh, rectangles there. That's it. Let's have a few brush strokes in the other direction. Oh, my brush has fallen to bits. That's okay. Here's there, here there. And with the blue, I'll soften the blue. I'll put some here to start with. Easy to work with. We'll have buildings. Let's have buildings come down here. Buildings here, here. And it must be a street there. Okay, let's have a street there. That'll do. And uh, a bit darker here. So you're looking down a street. Maybe it's raining. We'll see. Let's see what happens. Move there. And add a little bit of colour here because we're getting close to the edge, so we'll have a bit of colour there and there. Maybe some shops here, something like that. And very light blue in the distance here. Whatever's in the distance should be very pale. Maybe something white there even. And there. And not, not the same on the other side. Don't make it too obvious. There. Okay. And this could be our street here. And the street should have some dark things on it, I'd say. Come in here. Let's come down to a bit of this. Now that's too much. I'm going to have to lighten that. That's, a, that's getting a little bit out of here. And get rid of that brush. Crimson's always a very strong colour. Very strong. And uh, it overtakes blue immediately. Uh, if ever you're making a, a, a grey or a purple, you slowly add the crimson to the blue. Don't add the blue to the crimson, or you might end up with four times as much paint as what you need. So, yes, crimson is usually much stronger than blues. Unless you use an artist quality blue, where you might have one that's very, very powerful. Okay, this will be our street scene. Now, to get it wobbling, not wobbling, zigzagging, as it comes towards us, that'll give us what looks like a street, I think. Looks like a lawn. Okay. And it needn't come straight towards the window, it could come off in that direction in that direction, maybe off in that direction, something like that. Now, to get some detail into it, I'm cleaning my brush here. I don't wash my brush when I'm working. I'll get a little bit dark colour, a bit of white, and we'll see if we can add some detail with these buildings. Something here. And we'll, we'll detail it much better later. You can paint what you like in here. I'm just doing it in to show you the idea of this is what you can do. And even if you're not a great painter, you can put your ideas in there and enjoy what you're doing. Enjoy it. It's fun. It's good fun. 
there. Now we need lots of windows so with the white uh, I'll put the white on the masking tape here so you can see what I'm doing. There. I, I pick it up with the edge of the knife on the very edge of the knife. I touch the knife in it. Now that's a bit too white. Let's add a bit of blue to it. And we get a mixture of colours. And you can detail things with a white. Buildings and things, all sorts of things. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now windows. Window, window. Ooh, they're not scratching through, that paint's dry already. Window, 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 window. Lots of windows. Yeah. More windows. These ones are a bit bigger because they're closer. And maybe a yellow window. Maybe someone's got their light on. Yes, yes, yes. Now, down at ground level, I think we'd have some something down here. Something like that, maybe. making this up as I go along. I don't know what it's going to look like when I'm finished. But that looks like the background. Let's add some telegraph poles. A little bit of white, a little bit of colour. I'll have some very close to us. That, that'd be a good idea to take it right up into the top there. Take it well up into there. So I've got all the colours on the knife. And that can be a telegraph pole right there. Like that. them up with a little knife and make them look a bit more perfect with a little brush I mean there and that one could be darker in this area here there shadow yeah now we've got the little brush now we can do maybe a footpath We should have the road this way, I think. Yes. Like that. With a better quality brush, I'll brush this road in, make it smooth. I might add a bit of that purpley colour there. Yes. That's another colour. Uh, that's got a French ultramarine in there. Uh, that's the colour I put all around the outside. Maybe I shouldn't do this because it'll bring it forward. So I'll change it back to the blue. detail this here bit of detail on this veranda front Oop, not dark enough I'm just taking any colour it doesn't matter make it up as we go along lock it in like Lego blocks. You just make it up as you go along. 
and maybe down this side of this building, we can have a little bit of light shining on there. white line down that pole. So you see a roll of it off the edge of the brush. As I print the brush down, I slowly turn it and that bit of paint comes off. Like that. Yeah. I don't know what that is, but it doesn't matter. And the road comes like that. Well, I think I need a blue line on here. Television aerials. Uh, we can make a, if we, detail a few lines up the inside here now as you see this is not a great painting it's just just a painting put together but when I take the mask and tape off it'll come alive and it doesn't have to be fantastic in fact if you wanted to I might even do it you could run a fine brush over it and look like it's raining let's do this And then we can put some pools of paint on the ground. We can put some pools of water on the ground. Just like that. Just put something in there that looks like water. There. It's now raining. Come on, rain, come on, rain, rain, rain. Let's take the mask and tape off and see what happens. I'll start from here. Yes, and that one. Oh, that's a funny mask and tape. That was two sided tape. I didn't know that. Good grief. Uh, Okay, <laughs> that was fun. Have a closer look. Looking out the window on a rainy day, and that's what you see. And there's no need to be a fantastic artist. No need to go to university. Anybody can do this and enjoy their life. Well, there we are. That was easy. Anybody can do that. There's something I want to show you. A lot of people have been asking me what I'm painting on. Am I painting on canvas or... This is canvas. Now it's... You can see this. I don't know if you can see the texture. That's the back of the canvas. That's the front of the canvas. It's not paper. It's a, it's a fabric. It's canvas. And it's artist picture canvas. 
if you buy this stuff, it's not much more expensive to buy it already primed. I don't use gesso or magic white or liquid white or whatever you want to call it. You just paint straight on it. Usually you put white on first because that's the background colour of skies and we start with the background usually. Canvas. Artist picture canvas. Prepared artist picture canvas. Okay, see you guys. I hope you enjoyed doing that one. I like it.